What's up, everybody? Welcome to Metal Remains Backstage. I am Carlos in New York City, and today with me is Thomas Bigstrom, vocalist from the band Therion. Yeah, hi, everybody. Hi, Thomas. Thank you for... Great to be here. Thank you for taking some minutes of your day to talk to us. How are you today? Thanks for having me. Thank you. I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of things to do. A lot of interviews, both like this and and mailers, as they are called. You know. Right. Right. And I write very slow. I, I'm well, writing like this. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like Tippy Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I tend to do the same too. <laughs> it's hard for me yeah, to I, use all of my fingers. Yeah, <laughs> I was there in the in the era of typewriters, actually. Mm, I'm yeah. that old now. Yeah, we had yeah. that actually as a subject in school. I was very bad. It was called the subject was called typewriting. Yeah, I I Among think I I think I was in a class like that when I was really really young. But then they. They just dismiss yeah. it for some reason. Yeah, what, what, what a what a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I know you're busy with the new record and doing interviews and all that, but at some point you may have time to listen to some music just for your own enjoyment. And we would like sure. to know what have you been listening to lately? Well, I can tell you that I was listening to the new single from Judas Priest oh, today yeah. while I was doing the dishes. That's and a good one. Very good. Both of the singles are great. Right. And Halford is pff, wow. Wow. Yeah. Sin palabras. He's the god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. the metal god. <laughs> I remember <coughs> we were playing on in Metal Fest. Nay, uh, sorry, in Hellfest with Tyrion. And we were actually playing um after Judas Priest, not because we are bigger because of of the of the of the, of the time thing. It, it, it had to be like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I met him briefly, and I remember my knees were shaking. You know, like this. <laughs> wow! Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's one of those experiences that lasts for lifetime. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Nice. So that's great. We have been listening to Judas Priest too. They have a. I think they have something great coming up in the next record, so we're gonna. Yeah, me be, too. It seems like that. Yeah, we're gonna be holding and waiting patiently for that album to come out, and it's gonna be great, I'm sure. Um, well, yes. Now, talking about your upcoming album, Leviathan Three, is the mm -hmm. last chapter of the Leviathan trilogy, and it's set to be released on December 15 this year, 2023, through Napalm Records. Can you give us some insights about this trilogy and how the upcoming album will complement it? Yes, I can. Uh, to start with, then, when me and Christopher, well, first Christopher came to me and asked, do you want to write the, uh, an album with me, a new theory an album? Yeah, sure, sure. So uh, we were about to start and I asked, well, what direction do you want to take on this one? You know, And he said, it has to be good. Okay, that's very clear instructions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we were starting to, to write. He, he lives in Malta, and I live here in Spain. So we started to write and send files to each other. Mm -hmm. And more or less on the same day when we started, COVID came. Mm -hmm. And the total lockdown here and total lockdown, we couldn't go to each other and see each other. Mm -hmm. So what we basically did is we were working nine to five every day. We didn't know how long this would last. This pandemic. Right. Nobody knew. Yeah, no. So we were writing and writing and writing and writing. And all of a sudden, we had so many songs, way beyond one album, way beyond two albums. So Christopher came up with the idea, okay, we have so many songs now, so let's not make one album, let's make them three. We wow. call them <laughs> one, two, and three. Okay. And since the material, since his instruction was so clear, it has to be good. That was it. The, the songs became very diverse, you know, very different mm -hmm. from each other. So we decided to put the more commercial tracks, uh, commercial in theory on terms, you know. Right, right, uh, right, right. Commercial tracks on the, on the first one. Mm -hmm. And then on the second one, the, the tracks that were a little bit 
sort of darker in the atmosphere, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And on this third one, we simply go bananas, you know. It's more <laughs> exper experimental and, and a little bit more progressive, mm -hmm. you know, playful. And we've uh, taken inspiration from here and there, you know, from, from flamenco to, to Nordic folk, to fr from everything, you know. No right. rules. No rules. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's what I... Uh kind of sense with Leviathan 1 that it was like very uh, straightforward, bombastic and, yeah. and, and uh, I don't know, bright maybe in a sense. And then with yeah. Leviathan 2, the songs are like, as you were saying, uh, it they feel darker. They feel more... Yeah. Uh, when I say some people misunderstand this word darker, because when I say darker, they, they immediately think it's going to sound like, like Venom. Or, or cannibal. Oh, force. no, 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 that's no. not what I mean. No, not you. But many people has that, when you say dark, that's what they think, you know. Yeah. But but, but that's not what we really mean, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but you got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, darker in Therian, in the Therian universe. Yeah, it, atmospherically, see. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So, um, As you were saying, each, each song is different. Every song tells a story. There is not real connection between album one, two, and three no. telling a whole story, let's say. No, it's not. Oh, okay, it's, okay. I mean, we could have called, if we had no fantasy, we could have called this trilogy the, the COVID sessions, one, two, and three. But that's not so <laughs> funny. That's not so funny. All was, right. Christopher yeah. came up. I think he, he has been thinking about this title for a while, to use it sometime. And now what's the time, you know? Well, it makes some sense now that you explain that because my understanding of a Leviathan is like a big uh, creature, a big monster, something like that. And COVID seems to be something like that, only that it was invisible. Yeah, that fits good. I never thought that actually, but that, that's a great thought. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. Yeah. Um, a few days ago, the video for the song Ayahuasca was released. The song is magnificent, and the video is captivating, depicting the hallucinating journey of the character in the video. Uh, it's actually a real shaman doing that in the video. Is it? Oh, yes. wow. That's great. Yeah. And uh, um, I know that video was filmed in the Amazon. Can you tell us how that experience was? Uh, no, because I wasn't there. <laughs> 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 okay, so we can ask the shaman or or yeah, the person yeah, yeah. doing the to thing. Tell the, you the, the frank journey. truth, I don't know okay. because it. We have a problem when it comes to videos with Ethereum, since we all are living in different countries. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for us to participate. Right. When we did <clears throat> the video for the for the song "Eye of Algol" in the first uh, from the first Leviathan album. Uh -huh. It was still middle of pandemic, you know, mm -hmm. middle of it, you know. And uh, they wanted me and, and Rosalia to, to be in the picture and sing. Mm -hmm. But how the hell do we do that? We don't have a we don't have a camera experience. I don't know how to run a cam film camera. So then Carlos, this genius man, gave us a crash course how to make it with the phone. Oh, Okay. So what you see of me and her in that video is filmed with, with Rosalia's telephone. Oh, nice. And it looks absolutely incredible. We had you to should advertise that with whatever brand you were using. You should advertise it. Yeah, yeah, I should. <laughs> I should. <laughs> Because, and then we, the only thing we bought was a green screen from, from AliExpress. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nice, nice. So this so that, video, so Ayahuasca... Uh, film in the Amazon. Uh, uh, if you weren't there, uh, how how it happened? How did you guys make it happen? I, this is a thing between um, between Christopher and Carlos mainly. Okay, they are in contact, and then <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm having a little cold, and um, they are in contact, and Christopher tells sort of what he wants, and they mm -hmm. tossing ideas forward and back. Like me and in, Christopher Duff when we wrote writing songs, you know. And Carlos is where? In South America? Yeah, Carlos is living there, yeah. Oh, okay. And he so he's the, the one. 
yeah, he he has done a lot of videos with us, you know. Nice. Both with us when we are there, we have recording with recorded videos with him. Uh huh. Awesome. He's very great to to work with and, and uh, true professional. Yeah, after uh, a history of videos making, working with the band, I think he has a clear idea where to go. Sure. To I, I mean, when you when you see what he's done, when you have worked with him for a while, you are not afraid to say, "Here, Carlos, have free hands," because you know it's going to be good. You know. Yeah. 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 It's it's really. It's really nice. It's really good to have something you trust for that. And um, yeah. can you tell us what inspired the song Ayahuasca? The 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 brew. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. I wrote a song. when we write songs for an album. Mm -hmm. We uh, because we don't write the lyrics ourselves. We have a poet writing our lyrics called Per Per Albizon. I see. Who okay. Knows a lot about this and that, and he speaks languages, and he's. It's a true nerd and the poet. Wow. And, and um, when we did the, um, the record, um, the, the opera, Beloved Antichrist, mm -hmm. I made a demo for a song called Ayahuasca. Mm -hmm. I just threw in the word because I think, thought it sounded cool, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, then I think Christopher said, we should have a song about that, you know? Right, right. Because it's a pretty big thing. Yeah, no. yeah. So maybe, maybe for people who who's not familiar with the word, uh, my understanding is ayahuasca. It's a beverage, a drink made out of some plants, and when you yeah. drink it, uh, it it's I don't know. It, it opens up a new world. Some people, yeah, say it's, it's, yeah. You start a, it, hallucinating and yeah, seeing totally. things. Some people call it the little death. I heard. Mm -hmm. Right and uh, yeah, I, it wouldn't be for me. I'm I'm totally afraid of that. I I, I see things anyway. You know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but uh, but b because I I heard that when people takes it, many people vomits and and mm -hmm. shit in their pants. You know. Right. Yeah. Before and it's very unpleasant before mm -hmm. this happens and sort of paradise opens for some. You know. Right. Right, and that is exactly what we see in the video. Yeah, yeah. So, um, for those who dare, go go for it. I, I I will not say to people to go and try drugs, but this is really right. something else, I think. Right, right. Well, that song is amazing, and the video is so captivating. You you really want to see what happens at the end. You, you're you thinking, is this guy going to survive or what is going to happen? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I, um, I don't know if many people died from trying that. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. But some people say that that their character has been changed after. Yeah, probably after such a tremendous trip in the mind, probably. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, when there is a new album, always there is a tour to support it. Uh, so we wanted to ask, what are the touring plans for Therion in 2024? Uh, yeah, it, it's basically touring for the whole year, more or less, I, I wow. would guess. Yeah. And we start off in Mexico uh, the 20, 20th of January. We go there and make a big concert with big symphony orchestra and the big choir. Wow, that's great. Yes. Awesome. Yes, that's great. I know I Mexico wish... Mexico loves Therion. Yeah, they do, of some reason. I don't know why just there, but <laughs> or especially there, I would say. South well, South they... America and Latin America works very good for us. And yeah. I don't know why, but it's I know why. We are passionate about things that we like. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. And, but... and... And we are very loyal to when you are into a band and you really dig it and you really like it, you are very loyal to that band. Yeah, and when that so. band comes to your city, you want to show that you care and that you love what they do. I think yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. And you really do, I have to say. Absolutely. El Salvador as well. It's great yeah. for us. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So you're yeah. going to Mexico, then I guess you are going down to Central and South America, maybe? No, not not immediately. Okay. Not immediately. We're going back and we go to Turkey. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's called the, 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 the Tour of Darts. You know, you throw yeah, the, that's, the, the, the that's arrows. That's quite a turn. 
Yeah. Wow. We go, uh, then we start a Europe tour. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, then we do China. Wow. Yeah. And uh, then we do, we're planning to do, or we want to do South America again, Latin America. Wow. And um, any plans to visit uh, the US or Canada? Or not? I would time? love to. I would love to. Uh, the thing is, it's so expensive to tour the United States now. Mm -hmm. Extremely expensive. Yeah. So starting with the love, starting with the working visas, have, right? Yeah, only those are, are super expensive. And then and then comes the tour bus there, and then come this and that. It's yeah. an enormous expense. But I would love it because I uh, I have family that lives in the United States, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. also so I have a connection to it. Right. You know when, when Sweden for for 150 years ago, let's say, Sweden was one of the most poor country in Europe. It was, really? yeah, it was so, so really bad, you know, really bad. Mm. So a lot of people just left and and went to the United States with boats. You wow. know, that's why it's so many Andersons and Ericsons there, you know. Uh huh. Okay. And, uh, and uh, you know, they went on this ship and they looked back when the ship left and realized that they would will never come back. Mm -hmm. you know? It's yeah. pretty sad. It was not to buy a flight ticket back then. It was about yeah. months on, on, on the furious sea, you know. On the ocean, yeah. To, to, be, to build a, a new future, you know, for, for them and their families. Right. It's a pretty touching, touching history. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, well, I hope you can make it to uh, North America, the U.S. and Canada, because I know I fans over here will... Uh, we uh, they have been waiting to see you guys live. Yeah, yeah and, um, absolutely. The fan base, we I think, is huge time. everywhere. We were there the last time touring in 2007. That was wow, the last. That's, time. It's, it's that's a while ago. We have been doing the the um, the the the, um, the festival at Pro Power in Atlanta. We have done yeah. after. Mm -hmm. that, that's about it. And also wow. the metal cruise, the the seventy thousand tons of metal. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't count. It's it's really the Caribbean. But but anyway. Yeah, yeah. There, I think there are some bands like uh, from Europe that they just go right to those two events and then they go back to Europe. Yeah. Probably because what we're talking that everything is so expensive here uh, yeah. to tour. So well, um, I hope. But hope to is the last thing you. that left, leaves mankind. So I hope. Yeah. I hope to see you, if not here in the U.S., probably I will catch up with you in, I don't know, Mexico or somewhere else. Yeah, that'll be great. It's yeah. So welcome. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. And Thomas, to wrap up this chat, can you share with us one of your favorite backstage moments? Oh, yeah, there are many. Some of them I shouldn't <laughs> tell. But... <laughs> 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 but I'm I sure. can tell you, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I can tell you um, two funny stories if you're okay with that. Yeah, sure, absolutely. I'm all in. One was in, um, one was in, I think it was in Guadalajara in Mexico. I'm not sure, but I think mm -hmm. it was. And I was single at this moment, <laughs> so the promoter, <laughs> okay. the, we went, me and the drummer, Joan who was also single by that moment. We went to uh, to the promoter and asked, can you fix an after party mm. with only the band and only girls invited? Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and he would say, claro, no, 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 not worry, don't worry. We fix, we fix. And I yeah, right, he will not fix that. But he did. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a two-floor house. You know, wow. that we came to. And mm -hmm. I think the sun was up when we went home from there. You know? Wow. That <laughs> was great. It was like paradise on earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I guess tell you that was that yeah. something to remember right there. Those were the days before the gray hair came, you know. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't see any gray hair. <laughs> uh, but um, but uh, I can tell you a funny story that happened in a, in a concert. Mm -hmm. um, we were playing in Poland in the middle of the, the cold winter mm -hmm. 
And in some parts of the shows, there are only the girls singing for a long time in instrumental parts. And by that moment, I usually go off stage to take a cigarette, you know, and, and a little to drink, you know, because I have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And in this specific place, smoking was not allowed inside. Uh -huh. So they have, when you came down from the, the stage, they have a door that led into a backyard mm -hmm. outside. Yeah. I was like, I'm going out there. And I put my foot between the door and the, yeah, so, so the door doesn't lock. Right. And my foot slipped and the door locked. Oh. <laughs> I'm locked out. And I hear the music in my in my in ear system all the time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I was like, soon it's my turn, you know. <laughs> and I'm not there. <laughs> and this is locked, you know. And you start to think, you have seconds to think out something. Should and I you didn't have a phone around? with you or anything? No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing. Only me and the cigarette, you know. Oh wow. And snow. And snow also. Yeah. Wow. And I was like, when you start to think, what should I do? Maybe I should go around the building and go through the audience up. You know, I have the <laughs> microphone in the hand. Uh -huh. So, but I was starting to, to, to hit the door like this, you know. Right, and to bang the door. Like Jesus Christ, a, a Polish guy that worked in the place mm -hmm. passed by. And I said, open, you know, and he opened the door for me. And I was running up on stage and I hit the stage exactly when it was my turn to start to sing. Wow, perfect yeah. timing. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the things that comes up to mind. Yeah. Were you there for a long time or not really? It didn't affect your voice? No, it, it, this, I, I cannot say how long time it was because it was pure panic. <laughs> but okay. but, but may, let's say it was for three minutes. Yeah. But it feels like an eternity you know that <laughs> right right and you were right ready for the stage because all the adrenaline was rushing there already yeah yeah, yeah. i was just gonna take a few sips you know of the cigarette uh -huh. and then go go back wow Good time, you know and then the door locked <laughs> <you know? laughs> wow those things may happen yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. uh now that uh I discovered today something I didn't know that you speak some Spanish. Would you like to say before we say goodbye, would you like to send a message in Spanish to all the Latin American community, all the Spanish community that loves Terian? Okay, sure. Should I start? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hola a todos in América Sur y Latin America. Soy Tomás and I miss you all very much, but please in the end of this year, I think we'd be in your country and we can't wait to see you all. Hace falta. <laughs> yeah, I love that. If you like this video, please give us a like, share it with your friends, consider subscribing to our channel. Also support Therian by buying or streaming their new album. Catch them on the road when they come to your city because that is the only way to support the bands and music that we love. See you next time, but until then, stay metal. <laughs>